What's up guys, my name is Jellycook5 and welcome back to an episode of the Player Career Mode but before we get into things it'd be much appreciated if you were able to hit that like button down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video and in terms of all my socials they're all linked down below so you never miss an update in regards to my channel as you saw there we levelled up due to some training activities and we've got some skill points to spend and as you saw just then we were able to apply them to our shooting abilities this is where the stats lie, we're currently on 92 pace, 70 nice shooting 58 passing 75 physical obviously don't worry about the defending and 73 dribbling with 74 rated but bearing in mind we don't have age on our side so we need to be able to get up the ratings as quick as possible and with that being said we're going to get ourselves straight into a game the first game of the episode comes away from home then looking for a decent result here against Fortuna hoping they're able to get all three points obviously the Eredivisie table is very tight at the top at the moment so very much the case of where we need to be on our toes every single game and hopefully we can get a result we need at least one goal obviously I need one assist sorry take three shots on target and at least a rating of 8.5 we played them earlier in the season we actually ended up doing Fairly well, so I was hoping for a same result in this game. Then, as you can see in the fourth minute, a play but was created. Then, as you can see, it was Bergwijn was played on the left. Lovely bit of passing, to be honest. And we found ourselves in a really good position, looking for the ball here as we just wait patiently. But unfortunately, the pass just does not live up to the expectation, and the ball goes out of play. But we continue on then. Ninth minute into the game here, we're looking for an opportunity as we look to Bergwijn on the left hand side, playing him really well as he uses his pace to run against the defence and he plays this in there. But the defender does really, really well to block that shot, and it will be a corner kick then corner whipped in decent delivery but he does get it clear then decent clearance that has to be said as it goes back out into the middle of the park then decent effort once again and unfortunately we just cannot convert then chance after chance in these 12 minutes or so as Fortuna Citadad look to try and see if they can go on the attack themselves uh, trying to get numbers forward and as you can see they're passing it about really nicely in the middle of the park trying to shut them down to be able to retrieve it and trying to go on their counter attack but it seems to be they're going to go on their own sort of attack then Sal Ferrati's on the ball and as he plays it on the left hand side looking for a run here but they're just playing it about really really nicely being patient very much being composed at the same time the home side so looking for an opportunity here as they got a chance here in on goal decent effort there was saved though but as you can see we've had another change in keepers for whatever reason I'm not too sure the manager cannot make his mind up who wants to be in between the sticks but they still have possession here but lovely interception was finally made as Taylor plays us in here Bergwijn makes the run on the left hand side as we look to try and see if we can run to the defenders then offering support also as we run into the gap then as Bergwijn plays in his teammate Berghus and we get the goal 1-0 then in the 19th minute and we have got our first goal of the game and it comes for ourselves then brilliant goal a lovely bit of team play at the same time myself Bergwijn and Berghus linking up perfectly to be able to get that goal and it is now 1-0 Bergwijn does really well to hold the ball up initially there as he just finds Berghus on the right hand side Berghus doesn't think twice but just play it first and that was really nice and to be honest I only had to take a couple of touches before I was able to get the, uh, the effort out of my feet and into the bottom corner keep having no chance for that one whatsoever and we have taken our chance then and we are now 1-0 up I'd say it's deserved I'd say we've had it definitely applied more pressure compared to the opposition and we've got another chance here as we reach the half an hour mark we reach it in the middle of the park then trying to beat the defenders if we do really well to get the shot off then advantage was played but unfortunately nothing was actually given and it was eventually ruled offside off the rebound though but decent stuff that has to be said as we come near to the end of the first half we've probably got one last chance as Berkus plays it on the right hand side looking for an opportunity here as Jean Mario finds his teammate Taylor Taylor onto Berkus then as he holds it up on the right hand side playing Jean Mario what a pass that was and even better with a goal it's 2-0 then just before half time as we snatch one literally with seconds left in the half really really happy to be able to get that goal and it was a really well taken goal at the same time to be honest the touch was a little bit different compared to what we're used to seeing from our expertise but the play was even better to be honest Jean Mario in a lovely place to be able to play us in and we do really really well to skip past the defender at such close quarters so so hard to be able to get the ball uncontrolled in that tight space but we do really well and it is now 2-0 going down the half time then as you can see in terms of the objectives we've actually done really really well all we need to do is actually get an assist and we should be on par for all three objectives into the second half we go very confident we've got a little bit of momentum after getting that goal at the end of the first half and I don't really see the opposition getting back into it but we have seen stranger things though that has to be said but in the 54th minute there as you can see we win the ball back such late in their half 
and it's Taylor with the goal to be able to pretty much put this game to bed and hopefully that will seal all three points and as you see you can celebrate there the number eight has been very pivotal for this Ajax midfield and attack to be honest and it was a decent goal he won the ball such to kind of deep in their half no chance for the keeper or the defenders to get anywhere near it whatsoever and that is a very classy goal from Taylor as we continue on then second half 56 minutes being played then are they going to get some sort of constellation I wasn't too sure at the time in honesty because they didn't really apply much pressure but as you can see Taylor getting stuck in the defenders wise and it creates some sort of play for ourselves then as he got played in then Bergwijn did make the run but we just can't see him in then we try and play it in the middle of the park then we do eventually Berkus picks it up onto us it goes back again in a decent effort but the keeper does make a save this time round lovely shot it was but unfortunately the keeper had better ideas and he does save it and it goes out for a corner as you can see corner went in but it goes straight back out but as you can see Bergwijn on the left hand side he plays this in really well and we try and poke it into the bottom corner but unfortunately we cannot do on this instance and it still stays 3-0. Still looking comfortable though. Still looking like we're able to claim all three points. And as the clock is ticking, it looks to be that that is going to be the case. We've got another chance here. Once again, the keeper pulling out all sorts of stops to be able to make it less embarrassing for himself. As it nearly goes to four as a decent corner was whipped in. But we just can't seem to win the headers as much as we'd like to. Taylor picks it up in the middle of the park then as you can see from the loose corner. And unfortunately just can't really do anything with it. But what a challenge that was. Bergwijn picks it up on the left hand side after a real good side tackle from ourselves. We get played in here with Taylor there and Taylor gets his second goal of the game and we've got our assist, we've got a 10.0 rating and that should be game set and the match 4-0 at the moment, we've got two goals, we've got one assist can't really knock the performance that we've been having and it all stemmed from that lovely slide tackle, as you can see we just won the ball in such a pivotal area of the pitch and we pushed it past really really quickly and that was the most kind of effective way of doing it at the same time, we did as well to be able to hold the ball up, push it up the field really quickly and find ourselves in the ample space to be able to get the goal. 88th minute into the game now and as you can see the clock is very much winding down now. If they're going to score it's pretty much going to be a consolation but I'm very going to be I'll be, I'll be really rare if that is going to be the case to be honest. I'm not too sure if they will in the end. As you can see it hits the 90th now and they're just seeing the game out. They know they've lost this one. There's no way back whatsoever but they're going to have one last chance but the keeper makes a very good save on this instance to be honest and it is full time then 4-0 in the end. A very good performance against a tough opposition and I think like every every area of the busy game is some sort of hard in some ways obviously there's weaker teams there's stronger teams but they all put up a fight and that is the difference away from home it's always tricky but we definitely put a shift in and as you can see by our rating we also put a shift in 92 minutes being played two goals one assist and six shots on target 2500 on the XP as we completed all three objectives and as you can see from our objectives for what we completed them for we got stuck in from all areas of the pitch really really happy to be able to get that and we also get player of the match so we got three objectives completed two goals one assist and player of the match not more you could want apart from one more goal to be able to get the match ball but we can't have it all that is for sure after such success in that game we actually do get another play star as we look to try and see what one we can actually select and we do eventually go for the Traveller. I feel like it's something that's commonly used in game so I felt like that would be a nice part to add and as you can see we are absolutely romping at 36 goals so it's only a competition record of 43 to beat and we still haven't stopped here yet as we've got another game here at the Johan Cruyff Arena and this time it comes up against Vitesse. Obviously a team in recent years that have had a lot of low needs from Chelsea and they've also been kind of named as Chelsea's B team as it were obviously in recent years I haven't really been doing the best I would say and they haven't had as many low knees compared to what they have done in previous time that is for sure we need an 8.5 rating possession of 60% and three shots on target I'm hoping that's going to be able to be completed but let's get into things and see what happens and as you can see this test tried to start really really quickly and they have done exactly that four minutes into the game we already found ourselves 1-0 down here at the Johan Cruyff Arena not exactly the most ideal situation to put yourselves in such early into the game at least we've got time to be able to get back in but as you can see the defence was caught lacking the attacker actually left it for whatever reason but it actually put the defence off at the same time they thought with him not retrieving the ball they just don't make the run but another person on the right hand side seemed to overlap keep having no chance from such close range and it is now 1-0 to Fitesta and starting this game off really really quickly looking to try and see if they continue that on but we do have our first chance in the 11th minute as we make a lovely burst on the left hand side as you can see we don't do that well but unfortunately we just don't seem to be able to click 
onto the ball. For whatever reason, we make such a heavy touch and we do lose it. But as you can see, Medic with a lovely interception then as we pick it up in the middle of the park, looking to try and see if we can create something for ourselves. But it's very much chock a block in that middle of the park. They're creating some sort of bus. And as you can see, a decent effort was finally made. And in the 14th minute, we've had our first chance here. As you can see, the manager wasn't exactly pleased. But we are making chances at least. But Vitesse is still going strong. They're still passing it about like they're at home, to be honest. There's no sort of eager kind of from the defence and there's just I feel like Vitesse are just more up for it and you can see this as you can see 15, 35th first minute there as you can see Medic makes a lovely interception eventually but it took them so long to be able to retrieve the ball in the end and what they're doing at the back as you can see they've got so many options to play it off and Medic's just running about with it like he's just wasting time for whatever reason I'm not too sure it was getting very frustrating at this point and we do actually ask for the ball but unfortunately they lose it in such an ample position probably my mistake but I was so frustrated to see him run from side to side and not doing anything with it as the clock was ticking. They do make another interception as it fell to the goalkeeper there as Gorsa tries to pick it out on the left-hand side. And we do get it clear. But yeah, it's been a very frustrating performance from us, to be honest. And we're not at our best whatsoever. Another chance there from a free kick as the keeper punches it out as Bergwijn retrieves it on the left-hand side. Looking to create some sort of run for ourselves. And as we run on the left-hand side, we made a heavy touch and lost it last time. Can we create something else now as we run into the box? Options there. Red and white shirts offering support. And how but how is Berkus not converted that one? He's hit the ball straight at the defender. He could have taken the touch at that point. He had so much more time. But yeah, still stays 1-0 to Vitesse as we look to see if we can get one just before half-time. We reach the 43rd minute mark there. As you can see, as Van der Boom picks it up as he plays us in. Taylor makes the run. We see Taylor. Taylor in on goal. And Taylor has got it. We equalise then 1-1 in the 44th minute after we complete the end of the first half in a best, better way than we had competed in the whole first half. That is for sure. Very lacklustre. Very poor. But at least we were able to end it on a goal. We saw Taylor making the run and we play it into the gap really really well lovely bit of positioning from Taylor to run into the pocket and he does so well to hit it on his left into the bottom corner and it is now 1-1 Vitesse will feel a little bit hard done by especially getting the goal so late on in the first half but that will be it for the first half then as you can see looking very dejected at the same time and it's not surprising to be honest because it's been nothing but poor 6.9 rating 6.59% possession and only one shot on target so we need to up our game if we're completing any sort of objectives in this second half then as the second half gets underway, then as the test look to try and see if they can start as they mean to go on compared to like the first at the start. Really, really pushing now. And as you can see, they're looking for some sort of opportunity to arise and create it. It only takes a mistake. It takes anything to get back into the game. Whatever happens, they will take it. That is for sure. And they play it out in the middle edge of the area then, looking for a chance here, but they just can't get the shot off. Ajax are really well to be able to get the ball off them in the end. And on the attack we go as Bergwijn makes himself available on the left-hand side. We play him in, but as you can see, he had to drift to the right and drifted back to the left. Positioning looking a bit sketchy then as he plays in in the middle of the park looking for options here as we can't do it all on our own as we find Van der Bommen Van der Bommen onto Berghus as he makes a lovely ball into Bergwijn he should have crossed it first time for whatever reason he didn't he plays it in Berghus now and the shot was blocked so we try and get on the rebound but we just can't for whatever reason, every second ball and everything, we just can't win. Not going our way whatsoever, but we still got a lot of time to be able to get another goal. Unfortunately, we got flattened in that one, and that was the end of that attack in the end. But yeah, the minutes are definitely ticking. I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. It doesn't seem to be that's going to be the case in this tie. 70th minute mark reaches now, as you can see, as Vitesse trying to make something for themselves. Salah Dean initially makes a decent interception, but unfortunately just couldn't follow it up, and the attackers do win it back. Manager has given the instructions of ultra-attacking, so the defence is going to be very sparse, that is for sure. Sure, as the test on the edge of the area now looking to try and see if they create something as the Ajax defenders hound them for the ball. Really, really hard to get the ball off of them, and it's really proving difficult, that is for sure. As now we go on as we retrieve the ball, then looking for a decent chance here. As now we run forward now. Defenders matching us for pace. It's really hard to beat the defenders this time round. Not much support here as we drag to the left hand side. Play it into the box. Bergwijn's there. Why didn't he shoot? He should have just shot first time and had a chance. It would have been better than losing the ball. We try and win it back from the slide tackle, but we're not successful. And that is the end of that attack for the moment in time as Vitesse look to go on the left hand side and make some sort of run for themselves looking really dangerous now as there's yellow and black shirts offering support but they actually play it back in the end for whatever reason I'm not too sure and it nearly nearly makes a mistake then as you can see but Salah Dean finally makes the uh, it's interception but a bit like last time he makes the interception just loses the ball straight away he kind of defeats the object by doing so but we continue on then as Vitesse look to try and see if they can grab a late goal and this is a perfect chance here but it's straight at the keeper he collects it after fumbling the ball but yeah that 
that was very, very lucky for the keeper to grab onto that one. And no rebound was followed up. Five minutes left in this tie. The test have looked better all round, to be honest. I can't say at any point in the game, and even for a 10-minute span, than we was any point that we was attacking, looking threatening, looking like we was going to score. And this is now a chance here as we find the gap. But once again, the defenders are shutting us down. We get stuck in, though. What a slide tackle it is. Into the box. But no header was won. There's just no commitment. There's no fight. There's no effort. And this game, it looks to be that we're going to be dropping two points. But that was a very, very good chance there as a keeper gets down to his bottom corner. Try to kind of have some Traveller into the bottom corner. But it was really, really hard to do so. We win the ball back in such a bit perfect space then. But once again, we just can't make the most of it. Even myself are having a poor game. I can't exactly blame the team when my own actions haven't been the best. And that will be the full-time whistle then. Goldus for ourselves. 1-1 in the end. We got an assist for Taylor. But yeah, not happy whatsoever. And as you can see, the fans aren't either. It's one of those, we don't win them all, and obviously it's better to draw than lose because we still picked up one point. But with the fight that it is with Feyenoord and PSV currently in the Eredivisie, it's going to be proved very hard to be able to get back on track. That is for sure, though. But, yeah, one of those, a bad day at the office. It has to be said, no objectives completed at the same time. So it's definitely one to forget, and this is definitely one that we need to move on for and better our performances in the next games. Here we go then to the final game of the episode and it comes against NEC hoping for a better result compared to the last one against the Test and this is definitely going to be a tough one away from home this time also. Looking at the objectives we need an 8.5 rating, we need 4 passes completed in our own half and we need a success rate in terms of our dribbling but look at this for a foul, unbelievable and it's actually by a former Ajax player as you can see not too sure if I've got many Ajax fans or many people that have followed Ajax that are aware of the team but yeah very very poor foul and I thought I might get injured straight away that would have pretty much summed up the episode wouldn't it but we don't and luckily we continue on but in the eighth minute there NEC look to try and see if they can create something here as number five Bass plays it out on the edge of the area looking very dangerous here as they look to try and see if they can get a chance here because they know if they get the chance they might be able to hold a lead at home that is for sure and Sanchez has got a chance as he looks to try and see if he can get the ball offloaded in the box but he can't he plays it back out to his teammate there on the edge of the area and it's really really hard for the Ajax to midfield to win the ball but they eventually do and now we've got on the counter attack Berkus plays it onto myself in makes a decent run there and as you can see we play it on the left hand side with Solara Dean playing it on the left hand side looking for an option here as you can see as we run into our position we pick it up once again Bergwijn offering support but we're going to take it on our own and the keeper makes a decent save and it's the ex Ajax keeper Jasper Sillison with the save very surprising they've got a few familiar faces from the previous Ajax side as now we have a chance from the corner it bouts out to us we try to get the shot off we can't Berghus now on the left-hand side, looking to try and see if he can create something. He plays in Bergwijn, he takes a touch, and he thumps it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 for Ajax. And just inside 16 minutes, as he celebrates in front of the opposite fans, very, very happy that at least we've got to go. I don't care how we do it, we have scored, and we look to be able to break the deadlock early on in this tie. Berghus is really well done to be able to pick it up on the edge of the air, and he does well to find the gap at the same time. Bergwijn takes a perfect touch on his right foot, just nestling it into the back of the net, keep having no chance, that one from such close range and it is now 1-0 can we continue this form can we push on 35 minutes into the tie we play a 1-2 a Berg one there as he plays it back to Solara Dean he plays it in the middle of the park Taylor plays this in really nicely we have to play it back then as the defence really does pressure us and as you can see from the line they're actually playing like a 5 at the back at one point kind of 4 to a 5 but a decent opportunity arises but Jasper Citizen once again makes a decent save but we're definitely knocking on the door for that second hopefully it will come very soon but in the 46th minute there as you can see any CF a throw in. Solara Dean makes a really good kind of tackle there as Bergwijn now puts it onto the ball. Lovely run here being made as we try and run into the box and look to try and see if we can create something for ourselves. And we have done exactly that. Out of nowhere we've got our goal. Haven't really done much in this tie apart from having a kind of few half chances more than anything. But yeah, we have got our goal and it's now 2-0 just before the half-time whistle and we're going to be very very happy with that one, that's for sure. Wouldn't say it's the most glorified performance from our team or from ourselves to be honest, but we will definitely take it in the moments where we need three points at no cost whatsoever decent effort though as we try and finesse it past the keeper and we really really done well there keeper tries to get low but it goes at a medium kind of high height and it does so well to be able to beat the keeper as you can see by the rating there we're doing really well on the dribbling really well on the passing and also really good on the rating long may it continue though that is for sure as we go into the second half now and the first chance arises in the 55th minute then as we win it in the middle apart from a goal kick looking really really strong here as white shirts offering support as we play in Berkus Berkus holds it up on the right hand side as he back 
Jack heals it onto ourselves, but the shot does not live up to the moment as it just does drag wide. Really, really unlucky though that is for sure as we continue on. 59 minutes being played then. NEC haven't really had any opportunities. Can they create one? Not just yet. Solara D makes a really good interception. Bergwijn places it in the middle of the pot then looking for a decent opportunity as we run with it. Oh, this could be decent. This could be strong. Bergwijn now. Berghoofs. Really, really unlucky. Could have taken a touch round the other way and he might have created a bit more space though. That is for sure. But to be honest, that was it. It was the most boring game I think I've played in terms of a victory. Nothing happened in the second half. We saw out the result. The opposition didn't have a chance whatsoever. But we'll take it. As I say, it wasn't the most glorified performance that we've ever had in an IX shirt. But yeah, that would be three points. And hopefully, final aren't above us because that's what I worry about when we drop points so hopefully the previous game didn't affect us too much as you can see an 8.8 .8 racing 92 minutes being played one goal three shots on target so yeah it wasn't the best of games though that has to be said and now looking up the objectives we completed all three objectives which is the main thing at the end of the day and we got 1915 in terms of the XP also so yeah good day at the office and as you can see we did create a lot in terms of passing and everything like that and actually just getting stuck in tackles and different things but in the end, I wouldn't say it's the best performance and we definitely can do better. And if we come up against bigger sides, we need to do better at the same time. So it's always a learning curve. Games like this, we can always look at it and kind of better ourselves at the same time. But it's always going to be hard to do so. Yes, but we will continue on in good fashion. And this is the table then in the area to busy. We played 25, we won 18, we've drawn four and we've lost three. Currently sitting on 58 points, still a point in front of Feyenoord. And as you can see, we're four points ahead of PSV. Only literally six points separating the top four currently so it's all to play for between ourselves and AZ Alkmaar hopefully it won't be as tight as we really really what it looks to be because it's going to be very much a sketchy end to the series when it comes to it though but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers